Kyle didn't try to hide the fact that he was falling head over heels in love with Anita. She was the sexiest girl he had ever dated. Not only that, she was easygoing and even easier to talk to. During the week, when Kyle and Anita didn't see each other, they would often spend hours talking to each other on the phone. One afternoon, Kyle sent Anita a message. Hey, how's your day going? Four hours later, Kyle was still waiting for Anita to respond. What's going on, Kyle thought. Has she lost interest in me? Kyle decided to send Anita another message to find out what was going on. Anita was driving to the gym when she saw Kyle's message. She couldn't respond right there and then, so she told herself she'd get back to him when she wasn't driving. Anita drove to the gym then went to the supermarket. It was a busy afternoon and she kept telling herself to send Kyle a message as soon as she got home. When Anita got home three hours later, she was exhausted and decided to jump in the shower and grab something to eat. She reminded herself to call Kyle right after she finished dinner. When Anita eventually got around to checking her phone, she saw a bunch of messages and missed calls from Kyle. Kyle. I guess you've been really busy this afternoon. Kyle. Just out for dinner. Kyle. Just going out for dinner. Want to join me? Kyle. Is everything okay? Kyle. What's going on? Has something happened? Kyle. Where are you? Anita sighed with disappointment. She thought back to a time when she had dated a guy called Will. Once when she didn't respond to Will for half a day, she remembered how he had gone crazy and proceeded to blow up her phone. Without even realizing it, Kyle had just made a similar mistake. All those messages seeking reassurance exposed a weakness Anita had seen before in her ex-boyfriend, and she wouldn't hesitate to dump Kyle if he acted the same way. Attraction grows in space, not in close proximity. If you want to raise a woman's attraction for you, you first need to get her thinking about you. Being less responsive is one way to accomplish this. There's a deep underlying psychology when it comes to texting and calling women if you want to build attraction. What you say, how you say it, how long your messages are, how frequently you send messages, who initiates first, and how fast you respond communicates either weakness or strength. When a man immediately responds to a woman's messages, the woman can't help but feel the man's desperation. And what kind of man is desperate? The weak and unattractive man. Numerous psychological studies show that men who are highly responsive are less attractive to women. And while it's true that men find responsive women attractive, women don't feel the same way about responsive men. If there are any lessons to be learned from studies into attraction, it's that women aren't attracted to nice guys. From a woman's perspective, a responsive man is more likely to be exploited by others. The responsive man also sends the signal that he's eager to please, has a weaker character, and fewer dating options. If you're over-responsive and too available, you communicate weakness. A woman wants to know she can have space without having to worry about you getting upset or becoming clingy. Every human being wants freedom. If a woman thinks you'll try to restrict her freedom in any way, she'll instinctively pull away from you. It's only in times of strife and uncertainty that problems arise. You must never allow your fears and insecurities to derail what should otherwise be a straightforward seduction.